in chapter eight, you're going to have to do a lot of calculations. And so that's actually probably the biggest reason why we recommend this calculator. You'll find that it makes these calculations a lot easier. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you, I'm, I'm literally going to do some of the problems from chapter eight that you'll see in the notes and uh, show you how you would put these into your calculator. So we'll start in section 8.3 with 2C and you'll notice we've got here 2000 parentheses. Now I'm just going to put 0.12 and that's fine parentheses and then times or parentheses one-fourth and we know this is our cal or our fraction button here so one-fourth and when we hit enter it'll multiply and we get 60 now I want you to notice you could have just used the multiplication button but you should be comfortable with either and in a lot of the formulas we have parentheses so that's the way I'll be putting them in all right, let's go ahead and do number four now in section 8.3. Now I like to clear my screen each time. So let's see, we have 1200 parentheses one plus point zero four five. Now I could hit the times button. Since it's in parentheses here, I'm gonna go ahead and use, use parentheses. Notice I need two parentheses there to close out this part here and so now let's go ahead and hit enter alright let's move on to the problems from section 8.4 so here we have 12,000 parentheses 1 plus 0 0.045 oops I messed that up so this is kinda nice I can uh, show you how if you make a mistake you don't have to start all over it's actually 1 plus 0 0.02 so I'm going to hit delete when I go back and actually I can just type over this 4 here and then parentheses this is my exponent button we call that the caret symbol to the fifth power and when you hit enter looks like we're good there alright let's move on to example 2 from section 8.4 so 20,000 parentheses 1 plus now this is a fraction we can just hit 0 0.03 and then hit the fraction symbol and then we'll have 12 in the denominator and then parentheses and then exponent 12 times 18 now you'll notice what's really nice about this calculator and some of the newer calculators that you'll find is that it kept the 18 in the numerator or in the uh, exponent here and that's what we need in a, a more basic calculator you'll have to put the 12 times 18 in parentheses otherwise your calculator will take everything in the parentheses to the 12th power and then multiply by 18 and that's not what we want so that's where you have to be careful if you're not using a nice calculator like this one here so let's see 34 2 it looks like I did something wrong there uh, let's see oh I didn't use 20,000 I used 2,000 so I guess I get to do this again so just highlight it and hit enter and you can actually arrow over to and we actually need to put in another zero so we're going to insert I'm going to hit second delete so I can put an extra zero or insert a zero in there and now when I hit enter now we're good alright let's go ahead and go on to example three again now you'll notice that the thing that makes this calculator quite nice is when you put things in it looks just like it does on paper now you can scroll to the right let's see can scroll to the right and you can go back to the left if you can't see part of it there we go alright so let me go ahead and clear and let's do example 3 alright so we have 25,000 and since that's the only number in the numerator I'll go ahead and hit that and then the fraction button 
If you hit the fraction button first, that's fine too. Either way will work. And then 1 plus 0 0.06 fraction. So we're dividing by 2. And then parentheses, exponent, 2 times 5. And I'm just going to arrow out. You'll see, you see I'm moving around a lot using the arrows to get around the formula. And again, you'll notice it looks just like it does on paper. That's what we want. And notice uh, we look like we're good there. Let's go on to section 8.5. <coughs> Excuse me. So here we have 1,000, parenthesis, parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.1. You can put another zero in there if you want. I might as well do that. Parenthesis, and then exponent 30, and then minus 1. Don't forget your other parenthesis. That's closing this part here out. Bracket is the same as a parenthesis. It just <clears throat> makes things stand out a little bit better. Oh, and I messed up because I forgot to hit the fraction button first because I've got all this stuff. Now, there's probably a way to, to make that the numerator. Let's see if I can figure something out here. Maybe if I hit enter. Nope. I got to start all over. So I need to hit the fraction button first. 1000 parenthesis parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.10 parenthesis exponent 30 minus 1. And now you can see that's all in the numerator. Although you can't see the whole thing right now. And then 0 0.10 in the denominator. And we do get 164,494. <coughs> Excuse me. That's assuming we're rounding to the nearest dollar. Let's move on to this one here, number two. So, actually, that's where I'll. Let's just do number two here. So let's clear that out. So we have 200, parenthesis, parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.075. This is part of a fraction, so divide by 12, and arrow out, and in a parenthesis, and then exponent, 12 times 40, arrow to the right, and then minus 1, end of parentheses. And did I do it again? I don't think I chose to put that in the uh, numerator of a fraction. I am not being a very good example, guys. Let's see. So it's 200, parenthesis, parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.075 fraction, 12, and parentheses, exponent, 12 times 40 minus 1, end of parentheses. There we go. <clears throat> so when I arrow down, you can see the whole numerator, which is really nice. Um, just actually can't see the whole thing. You have to arrow over. There we go. But anyway, you can see that things are looking good so far. Let's go ahead and put in our denominator. It's going to be 0 0.075 and then hit the fraction button, and then the 12. And now we can finally go ahead and hit enter, and you get 604,764. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move my paper up here. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. We are on number three. So we do have a big fraction here, a complex fraction is what we call it. And so I need to hit that fraction button first. So 20,000, parenthesis, 0 0.06, fraction button, divide by 12 here. And that's the end of parentheses there. So we're done with the numerator. So let's go down to the denominator. 
And again, you can see that it looks the way it's supposed to look so far. And then we have parenthesis, parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.06, fraction bar, and then 12, and parenthesis, and then exponent, 12 times 5. And then arrow right, minus 1, and then end of parenthesis. So you always want to make sure you're not missing any of those parentheses. If you do, you're going to end up getting an error. So I'm going to go to the right, <coughs> excuse me, and let's see how we did. 287 when you round to the nearest dollar, so we're good. All right. Now I would encourage you maybe to go ahead and do this one here, although actually I didn't even write down the answer here. And let's see if I have that answer. Yeah, you should get 618 on this one. So you might try it and then watch the video. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. You should hit the fraction button first, 20,000. Parenthesis, 0 0.07, fraction button. 12, arrow to the right, and so that's my numerator. In the denominator we have 1, actually no we don't, we have parenthesis first. 1 minus parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.07 fraction bar over 12 and end of parentheses, and then, yes, that is a negative, it's negative 12, so make sure you use the negative button, times three, and so finally, let's hit enter, and sure enough, we do get six to 18 if you're rounding to the nearest dollar. All right, and so that's the end of this video. I hope that that'll help you to do these calculations. You'll have to be able to do this on our next test. It's important that you can use your calculator to do that. If you have any questions, just contact me.